Hi guys, my name is Urmi. I am a cosmetic chemist and this video is for those who want to become a cosmetic chemist like me. I have two qualifications in the field of cosmetics. One is from India and the other one is from UK. Today, I'm going to talk about the course that I studied in India. So after 10th board exams, I was looking online what I could do next and that's when I found out about this course called PGDPCM which stands for Postgraduate Diploma in Perfumery and Cosmetics Management. This course is available in VG Vase College, also popularly known as Kerkar College in Mumbai. The eligibility criteria for this course is a bachelor's degree. So for 11th and 12th, I took science. And in TY, I had an option either to choose life sciences or chemistry. So I chose chemistry because I thought if further I'll be studying about cosmetics, a base of chemistry would be better for me. If you want to apply for this course, you have to go and make first an application. So these days, the application process is online. You have to go to the college ka website and over there you have to make an application. Once you submit your application, you will be called for a personal interview and in this interview, they will ask you questions which are based on chemistry and cosmetics as well as HR round questions such as tell us about yourself or why do you want to study this course. So make sure you prepare well for this interview because the selection criteria for this course is based on how well you perform in this interview, your academics course as well as you know if you have any work experience in perfumery or cosmetics industry that is also counted. At the end of the interview, there is also a smelling test that happens. So in that smelling test, there are four strips of paper kept on the table. We have to pick each one of them, smell it and try to guess what fragrance notes we are getting and describe them. I cleared this interview and got admission to the course and I was studying in the 13th batch of PGDPCM. This is a two year course and in both the years, the syllabus is divided into two sections. Section one has all the technical topics which are related to perfumery and cosmetics and section two has all management topics. So in year one, in section one, there is perfumery and cosmetics in which they teach us about raw materials, history, different trends that are ongoing in perfumery and cosmetics industry, sensorial evaluation, packaging materials, hair, skin and nails, hair safety testing, toxicology, legislation that is involved in perfumery and cosmetics that is also covered. There's also one unit called FAC which is fundamentals and applied chemistry and in this unit they teach us about how surfactants react with each other and different ingredients. So basically chemistry of surfactants and emulsion theories that is also taught. So as you can see in the first year all basic topics are covered with which a good foundation for you know learning about topics of the second year is formed. In second year in perfumery, the topics are like alcoholic perfumery, functional perfumery. Then in cosmetics, there are leave-on products like skincare creams, lotions, herbal cosmetics, cosmeceuticals. So basically products which we leave on the skin. Then there are rinse off formulations like cleansers, face washes, body washes, hair shampoos. So they actually taught us how to formulate all of these products because we were taught what ingredients to use, how much percentage, all of that was taught and it was really nice. The last unit in section 2 in year 2 was decorative cosmetics. Now that was my personal favorite unit because we were taught about color theories, pigments, dyes and color cosmetic formulations. That's why it was my favorite. In section 2 we were taught about all the management topics. So that included topics like marketing, operations, HR, then accounts finance and costing. And one of the things that I really liked was when they taught all of these topics, most of the times they gave us examples from the cosmetics or perfumery industry. So that really made us connect well with the topic that was going on and we could understand it much better. So for practicals, in perfumery, we used to have smelling sessions in the first year. What we used to do was take strips of paper, dip it into raw materials, smell it and try to remember what it smells like. Also write it down for like future use or future referring. Then in year two for perfumery, we started making different blends. We started with making fruity blends like apple, guava, mango. As the course progressed ahead, we also started making more complex blends like place blend, personality blend. In cosmetics, in the first year, the practicals were based on the lectures. So there was a topic sensorial evaluation. So in this practical, what we did was we sensorially evaluated all the raw materials. And there were also practicals which were based on instruments that we generally use in 
cosmetic labs in second year in cosmetics practicals what we used to do was since we were learning about formulations right so we used to prepare formulations by ourselves write it down properly and then make those formulations in the lab so that was really nice because we got a hang of how ingredients worked with each other whether one certain combination was working or it it was not we really got a good idea of that and i can say that it was a good first hand experience of formulating from like a young age in the summer vacation between first year and second year everyone has to complete an internship in any cosmetics or perfumery industry or company or firm and that we have to find it out by ourselves and apply it over there by ourselves it is a good learning experience because for most of the students it was their first work experience so that gave us an idea of how companies work and how industrial or professional settings are so in second year we also have to complete a dissertation project so first we have to decide a product that we would be making and then select the raw materials formulations the process and also how you will be launching the product into the market work on all of these things and then write a thesis and submit that now let's talk about a juicy topic which is placements around in december january february ish everyone starts preparing for interviews and sometimes the companies come to the college sometimes we have to go to the companies for you know giving these interviews i also gave an interview like this and i was placed as a research and development chemist at viva cosmetics Viva Cosmetics is one of the leading manufacturers of color cosmetics in India and they produce for top brands that are present at the moment in India. The last topic that I would like to talk about today is extracurricular activities. Now Kerkar College all year round has many extracurricular activities. In PGD PCM there are two things I'd like to talk about. First is attending trade shows. Now in Mumbai there are two trade shows that happen every year HPCI and Cosmoprof even our professors used to encourage us to go over there and attend those trade shows we get to know about different raw materials different technologies and what all trends are going on at the moment apart from that these trade shows are a great way of networking because almost all of the industry is present over there in those trade shows as people who are new in their career networking really helps and that is the best place to do that the next extracurricular activity happens in first year so during kerkar college annual festival dimensions the first year students put up a stall in that stall they sell perfumes scented candles agarbattis face packs popuris so basically things which are related to perfumery and cosmetics okay the whole class just sits one day and decides what things we are going to sell from where we'll get our raw materials who is going to work on what product how we are making it and everything is decided and then everyone gets to work i think this was a really good idea to you know understand how a startup works because it was almost like a startup which was for two days but it really taught us a lot of things if you ask me if i like this course or not i personally loved it i was anticipating studying this course right after i passed out my 10th grade right so those 5 years 11 12th fy sy ty i had only one goal which was applying for this course and studying cosmetic science so after that when i actually got to study this course i was really satisfied with it all the topics all the practicals were like very much on point and we were taught all of those necessary things that were required now i can confidently say that i am good at formulations because i studied pgd pcm at kerkar college and i would love to recommend this course to anyone who wants to study cosmetic science and make a career in cosmetics industry in india so that's all for today and if you think you got valuable information from this video make sure you like subscribe and share it with your friends or family who would be interested in learning about cosmetic science in india The next video is going to be on MSc Cosmetic Science in the UK so stay tuned for that until then bye